We're not actors. We would be getting paid, right? No intern. Hi, everybody. Hello. Nice to see you. To Jim. And Dave. Spear Review. Review. So, Dave. Uh, we love you guys. What are we going to try tonight, buddy? hoo are hoo are I don't know what that means. I just liked the fact he did it. I was, I was I watched Hobbs and Shaw the other day. Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. Did they do Hua in that movie? Yeah. And they were like they went on to the island of, of Samoa and they had their Samoa brothers and they're all doing this Samoan dance and everything. It was pretty cool. Cool. <laughs> Powerful. Anyway, it's not about the movies. It's about the beer. Right, because it's the beer review. We have some yards. Yards. Back in the yards. Uh, and it has some uh, IPA. Our signature IPA. Yeah. Signature IPA. It's assertive, yeah, hoppy, and drinkable. It's now available drinkable. in cans. It says our signature IPA is loaded through and through with assertive American hops. Traditional floor malted English barley gives IPA its firm malt character while generously amounts of Chinook and Amarillo hops imparts aromas of pine and tangerine for a perfectly balanced IPA. Wow, that was good, huh? Cool. Yep, it uh, says IPA, our signature India Pale Ale, 12 fluid ounces, 7% ABV. Nice. Eight yards brew. I was about to see all that. It was right here, man. Oh, man, I got more information here, dude. Moving along. What do you think about the color? Oh, wow. I tell me what? It's copper. Yeah, I'd say it's that's bright great. copper. Because you know what it says here? Pretty bright clear. copper. That's true. 62 IBUs. A little higher than your preferred number, yes. but it's just a number. Yeah, well, year round. Cascade of hot back, high drop with. I dropped. I hopped. Try oh. hopped. With Amarillo, Chinook, Bravo, Columbus, and Eureka. A lot of stuff. Well, oh. pairing so IPA is a robust beer that needs robust flavors and never met a hunk of cheese it didn't like. Pair with sharp cheeses like aged cheddars. Ooh, cheddar. Old Amsterdam, old Amsterdam, or blues like Gorgonzola or Stilaton. I never heard of that. It loves aromatic herbs, so try it with herbs like lemon grilled lamb chops hmm. okay you're introduced 1998 nice well the hops are it's a 7.0 so i don't know if i get a pint of this but there is a, a bit of a citrus character there cheers buddy yeah cheers mm, nice solid ipa yeah it's pretty well balanced it does have the signature bitterness that lingers a little bit that a lot of people appreciate about an IPA. It's not bad there because the caramel flavor hits you and it's okay. Absolutely. Um, on the other hand, it's not like it's that exciting. It's just a general it's drink. It's not that the bad. This is the one that you have a few slices of pizza. You, just, you want you some gargazola. Yes, if you have some, sure, <laughs> cheeses too. Why not? I mean, I don't think I've ever sat around and say, I can't wait to pair this beer with this cheese. And you know what? Maybe that's my loss. Maybe some lamb chops. So I'm kill Coming up soon, it's the lamb. Jim and Dave Beer and Cheese Review. <laughs> Why, Dave, this Gargonzola had a hint of cheddar. It said it pairs with it, so it's on their website. Well, I would like to verify that. Now, the next beer, we're going to check and see if it has any cheese pairings. If it does, well, if I don't have them, we're not doing it. But if I have them, we'll do it. Give us a number, Dave. Uh, six and a half. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. You made me rethink my uh, judgment here. I'm gonna give it a six. I mean, it's 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 nice. I'm not a huge fan of this type this of time. lingering bitterness, but you know, it's a good solid drinking beer. I can have a couple of these in the night, probably not in a row. But and I'm really I, the way to buy this for me was in the variety pack. But, uh, hey, I want to support Philadelphia and Philadelphia beer, so, hey, you go buy yourself a case if you like a good IPA. Right. What? So, 7 from you? 6.5. 6.5 from you. 6 from me. Uh, very nice. It's Yards Brewing Company Yards. in Philadelphia. Yards. Down by the Why do you say the Boston accent? Yards. You just like saying Yards. And that's I like saying Yards. Kind of irrelevant. Yards. Kind of, okay, fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So listen, women are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth defects. You should not operate heavy machinery. Maybe you should do this in uh, sign, sign language while I do this. Uh, I don't know how to do that. All right, just pretend. Just use your imagination, okay? So women are, like, I'll start over. Women who are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth defects. You're not even trying. 
<laughs> you already have to put it rated R now. Why? Thing. Oh, great. Thanks. Fine. I'll do it twice. Just double the budget, dude. I know. You have to do that here. Click. Click 17 and over. I'm just going to wait until YouTube deletes it. Click. That's all it takes, man. Click. Well, it takes two seconds to hit a click to the next 17 thing, right? 17 click. Done. Everything. 17, well, 17, see, I'm 17, not going to know 17, that 17, about 17, this video 17. when I post it. Do everything 17. No, people can't see it on Facebook if they're not a member of That's right. People really look at our stuff because they obviously look at people we're missing. Do you have some kind of filter problem? Maybe that's why. Because they don't, no one sees our stuff. I think you have some kind of filter issue. No, I turned off the filter issue. I, did, I stopped. Oh, that's everything. what happens. See, you mess with the filter stuff. Okay. That's why no one sees our stuff. All right, which ones I do? You should not operate heavy machinery or drive right. a vehicle right. if you're under the influence of alcohol. Right. Yeah, of course. Excessive drinking can cause health problems. And the reason we try these different beers is we believe that I you like drinking beer. should drink great beers. <laughs> and Dave have likes drinking beer. And you know what? Have a good have it to your friends. My name is James, and uh, I like drinking beer. <laughs> Hi, people. My name is Dave. I like drinking uh, I'm really beer. glad to be here in this no judgment circle <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> you know, Jim, in today's world, most of YouTube pundits are a lot younger than us. YouTube pundit. Well, that's okay. I can honestly say that being a YouTube pundit was not my dream when I was growing up. 53-year-old men doing a video show for YouTube. Why? Well, they don't get paid for uh, it. I'm 39. What are you talking about, dude? Dude, you're 53. Shut up. Uh, you're old, man. Look, oh, ladies. See? Ladies, right? Ladies. Creep factor <laughs> just dropped up into the atmosphere. Uh, yeah, you can filter that out, right? Well, Eventually. Knock out the sound for a second. You know? Yeah, okay. Wink, Anywho. over, down, edit. So do us a favor. The reason we do all these different beers is we believe that you should drink great beers. Uh, the lap or two with your friends, please. Please be our friend. And subscribe to our you. channel. Just thumbs up, thumbs down, comment below. And I want points for putting this at the end of the video because I think when they do it in the front, that's not good. Anyway. See you should know he's one of his enemies. Uh, ed, 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 yeah, I like Eminem's. What are you talking about? He's an edgy. I mean, so what? Edgy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you on? Supernatural now? Yeah. 